morning everybody welcome to a brand new vlog i mean we've got some nice bright london light coming in today it's rather lovely i am dying for coffee this is new situation new scenario we're at briny's house briny very kindly offered to let me stay over last night because we went to a moogler party which annoyingly i didn't take my camera out for so i didn't get any footage of that but you may have seen on tiktok my outfit was rather fabulous. I put it on TikTok to show everyone and everyone's like, oh, you shouldn't have worn it with shorts the way that you've worn it. Never mind. Oh, but it's not brush guy. I was wearing last night this incredible Wolford and Mugler bodysuit. And it's really, really amazing. Full catsuit bodysuit. And it's got, let's just say I had to wear it with some shorts over it. Because it, to me, I had to get a train into London to go to the event. And I didn't feel, <laughs> I didn't feel it would be appropriate to get on a train with literally a piece of black felt covering my hoo-ha. So I wore some shorts. But it's always funny on TikTok that you get everyone being like, oh, you should have worn it like this. And <laughs> this really, like, sometimes I feel people think I've got like, the confidence of the entire world <laughs> definitely don't i mean in fairness a lot of people also said oh i wish you'd worn it say with like a black blazer over it and yes i think i would have worn it like that had i have been going in a cab to the club or something and it was a really short trip i think i probably would have done something like that but again i was going on a train then had to get in a cab and i was on my own you know i just felt a little bit insecure going around like that but anyway, we went on to Selfridges. They have the corner shops. So in Selfridges in London, there's a little area, the very bottom kind of corner near all the beautiful bags. And it's like a pop-up and they do like a different pop-up per month. So this month is Mugler and it's where you can go along. You can get a chrome edition of Alien or Angel. I'm not sure. It might actually be both Angel and Alien in a chrome finish. It's like a completely limited edition, exclusive bottle to Selfridges. So if you're like a Mugler fan of perfume, this would be perfect for you. And yeah, and you can get it topped up there. They've got all the refills, all the Moogler refills that they have everywhere. Just a really cool pop-up. So we went on to that and then we went on to the party. And then afterwards, we came back and Brian let me stay over. So I've had a wonderful sleep. And now we're in London because we have things to do today. Oh, honestly, look at my skin. I mean, obviously I also have tan on right now, but that is one very fine layer of the Clay de Peau Radiant Cream Foundation. It's just glowy, it's flawless, it's not caked. I Literally, it's such a light layer of that over the top and it's just so beautiful. It is like my favorite foundation for a reason. Obsessed with it. I'm onto my like, I've said it before, probably third or fourth tube now. I get shade uh, 020, I love it. Anyway, I'm gonna get myself ready because I'm gonna put on now the Clay de Peau concealer as well, which again, I'm just obsessed with again in the shade beige. I'm gonna use a little Vive brush to put it on. Today, I have a wonderful Clay de Peau meal to host. And I've been looking forward to this for quite a while now because I've been planning ideas for it for a little while. I am hosting this today, which is a really wonderful opportunity. I'm very honored to be given the opportunity to work with Clay de Peau in a way like this. I mean, I'm such, as you guys know, I'm just such an a massive fan of this brand of their skincare of their makeup of the aesthetic of the brand the innovation the technology that goes into their products like it really inspires me and it's such an aspirational brand it's just yeah i'm just very very proud to work with clay de Peau. this will be really wonderful today it's going to be a group of wonderful ladies coming along to find out a little bit more about the products and just have a really lovely lunch in London. So again, that's why I stayed over last night because there's no point in me going all the way home to come all the way in again for this. But actually before that, sorry, it's a lot going on. Before that actually, we're going along to Harrods because the brand new Dior pop-up. Is it a pop-up, babe? What? Is it a pop-up for Dior Harrods? It's, um... it's like a full takeover, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of I think they've taken over all the windows of Harrods. We'd like a gingerbread. Oh, is it a cafe? Yeah. Oh, great. Well, we might be able to get a Dior coffee then. Great. That's music to my ears. Yeah, so we're going along to Harrods. As far as I know, it's almost like a gingerbread window display takeover of the entirety. It's a full wrap. Like, literally, the entirety of Harrods is Dior, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going along to see the wonderful Dior team. So we're doing that first and then on to the Clay de Peau event. So yeah, this is just very much a couple of days of beauty brands. 
which is fine by me, which is wonderful. Also, guys, let me move you to a new situation. I'll move you here. Granny's gonna be like, shut up, going on and on. And while I'm just, just print my lips a bit. The, uh, this is the Clé de Peau lip balm, by the way. It's a beaut. It's so lovely and like soft in shade, neutral pink, but it's just like a really light. It's not even really pink, it's just a balm with like a very pink undertone. Sorry, my hair was an eye. Also, this is Briny's dressing gown. Babe, where's your dressing gown from? Next. From Next. It's from Next. I know some of you will ask me, and yes, it is as comfortable and as cozy as it looks. Last night, Briny got me a hot water bottle and she gave me this so I could sleep in it because I was a little bit chilly. Very, very sweet to me. She looks after me. I have some um, fairly exciting news to tell you. I don't know whether to tell you now. Or or maybe maybe I should tell you later. Because I'm not because I'm looking a little bit crazy right now. Yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll tell you later actually when I'm ready and I'm and I'm home and maybe when Alex is there too. But I've just got some really exciting news that I think that I just want to tell you about. And I haven't told you yet because I don't want to jinx it. And actually maybe I'll wait to find out today before I tell you because I don't want to jinx myself by telling you and then be like, oh, I've let myself down. I'll come back in a little bit. Anyway, just going to finish off my face, get ready, and then we're going to go get a coffee. And then on to Harrods. I would love some peanut butter, absolutely. What shall I do with my hair? Oh no, that is not looking good. Uh, shall I straighten my hair? Babe, what do you reckon I do with my hair? I will curl it then. I like you thinking, kid. Oh my gosh, babe, with peanut butter. Gosh, that is an enormous croissant, isn't it? Wow, what an absolute treat that is. Okay, guys, I'm almost ready. I've got my blue suit on. What are you saying? <laughs> you really are a great little housewife, you know. There's an incredible coffee shop near Briny that is just the most amazing coffee, so I'm happy now. Got my coffee. Brownie's just served me my own little croissant. I mean, look at this. Peanut butter, massive croissant. So I need to get this done. I can get my hair corralled usually in about seven minutes. So let's see how we go here. I do one stroke towards me, one behind, one towards me, one. Anti so like anti-clockwise, one clockwise, clockwise. I can't get my words out. Just so it mixes up your curls so they don't all just sit together. Then I'll use Red Ken's One United, spritz through it, brush it again. This is my Philip Kingsley brush, I love it. Let's just do one turn and pull the corral through. Leave the ends a little bit straight because it gives that more grungy effect if you leave them straight. Don't curl all the way to the end of the hair if you want it to look a bit more grungy. It's a good tip. And then yeah, then I'll just do that, just take big chunks. Spray, spray, spray. Then I'm gonna go towards my face this time. Pull it through, la la la. And then I only wrap it up the barrel like that, just so when I drop it off, it's in a coil. It just helps it to kind of sit in place a bit easier. But I'm pretty much all ready for the day. I just love my skin with this foundation on. It just makes me feel so lovely. Got nice like smoked out eye look. What did I use for that? Oh yeah, I just used a Victoria Beckham eye coal in brown, in cocoa, and then I just love to smoke it out. And it's just, it's just like my vibe at the moment. So funny, isn't it, how you go through like different makeup styles throughout the years. Like I used to be, when I was in university, it was like a serious pop of colour on the cheeks and I'd have like bright pink lipstick. It was Max Saint Germain, if any of you remember that. It was like the bubblegum pink lipstick. And that was like my thing. And then obviously you grow out of these phases and you get to a new one. Like when I first started blogging, I had like really intense black eyeliner looks. And then I stopped wearing eyeliner for years. And to be fair, I still don't wear liquid eyeliner really, unless I'm going for that style. But now it's not often that I'll leave the house without like a smoked out coal liner. Cause I just like that to, you know, define my eyes a little bit. It's interesting how you go through phases of like what you really think suits you and what doesn't. You think that you'd find what suits you and then you'd stick with it forever, but I guess it's partly to do with trends, I guess. Anyway, I'm just going on now. Almost done. So in case any of you are going to ask the question, so that the spray is one, so that your hair is a little bit damp, so that when you then go over it with the hair tool, it almost helps set it back into place. But equally, that red can on United, it has like heat protectant in it and it has styling, finishing and styling ingredients in it. 
So it just helps kind of just hold and add a bit more grit. I won't be leaving it like this, by the way. I'll be combing it through, but I'll leave it like that for now and then go on to the rest of my hair here and continue. But I've got nine minutes, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, just before I head off, just to show you today's outfit, I am wearing my McQueen blue blazer. I wanted to go with blues, with Clay Depot Poe being all about blue branding. <laughs> I just wanted to wear something blue. So McQueen full blazer and suit my Saint Laurent black heels with the black this little black bustier it just goes with everything it's just super easy to wear and then a number of my little bulgari pieces I feel I'm not wearing my wedding ring don't worry there's no issue here I take it off to tan and then I sometimes forget to put it back on anyway and then because I wore this last night and I've forgotten to bring another bag with me I have this little Prada sparkling on back but actually it works because it's black 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 heels black blue and a little bit of sparkle and then in this bag I've got I'm just going to keep topping up this gorgeous lip balm because my lips when I put this on earlier and then carried on with my makeup my lips looked so unbelievably juicy so I'm going to keep that as my lip balm of the day in my little bag that's it I'm going to take my coffee from the road and now we're off to Harrods <laughs> We're almost there. Today is a day of tube strikes, so the roads are significantly busy. We had booked a car, in fact Dior had booked a car for us, which was going to be an hour and a half late. So <laughs> we instead booked a car and now we're perfectly on time. Well, we're not on time. I have about two minutes <laughs> to take some pictures of the Harrods Dior signage, but I wanted to make sure I came and saw it and didn't want to let down the team. So we're doing this really quick before jumping into another car onto the Clay Depot event. But at least we get to see it, which I'm really looking forward to. In fact, it's just up this corner and it's all lit up all pretty. Wow, look at that step. You can see the big star on the front, babe, look. Wow, okay, I'm excited. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's literally every single window. It wraps all the way around the side. Oh, how beautiful is this? It goes all the way around. Oh, look! Oh my god, little, little gingerbread Misty Horse. That is beautiful. Wow, this is exceptional. What? How stunning is this? The whole thing is a gingerbread. Okay, that was the quickest whistle stop tour of Harrods ever, but at least I've seen it. I wanted to go in, I wanted to see the the wrap. And to be honest, I did try and go into the, so Dior have a cafe in Harrods right now, and it's meant to be absolutely beautiful. I, I went into Harrods to try to find it, and I'll be honest, I was tottering around in my heels. I literally had like five minutes and I got a bit too flustered and couldn't find it. So in the end, I just left and um, came out, but at least I've seen the Harrods wrap. It looked unbelievable, so it's incredible. So if you are around, definitely go have a look and try to find the cafe. The cafe, I think, is where the Ladgeré, it's where the Ladgeré used to be, apparently. So I think it's on the other corner to what we missed. It's where the old Ladgeré cafe used to be, it's there. So we didn't quite manage to make it there. But next time, next time, next time I'm in London, I've got some time, I'll head there. But at least we've seen it. But anyway, now we're on our way to the Clay de Poe lunch. We ended up getting out of the cab to walk it here because spring is at the, through at the back though now. We can, oh, oh yeah, how do we get through and round and down? Let's find out. She's off, woman on a mission. Very kindly carrying my suitcase for me. <laughs> this is a massive hazard waiting to happen. We're almost in. I'm now about 20 minutes late for my own event, but uh, traffic was not on our side today. I saw, I know, so hard. This is the first time I'm seeing this. This is La Creme in the blue midnight celestial pot. Oh my goodness, look. The little stars, can you see that stars? Oh, that's special. And I also haven't seen this gift. Cleansing trio set. Softening cleansing phone. Cleansing water, cleansing oil. Oh, that's so lovely, isn't it? I haven't seen this. Oh, that, oh wow. This is so exciting. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
Christmas collection, which is called the Radiant Sky Collection. So um, you'll all have some to try, but it is really stunning and a lovely introduction to the brand. We are delighted to have Victoria here to host our beautiful luncheon. Um, Victoria is our Radiant Ambassador for Clédico and is really the kind of epitome of the brand. Um, and we absolutely love working with you, so thank you for, having, for being here today. Um, and I will hand over to you. Okay. <laughs> all so much for taking the time out to come along. This is a brand that I really adore. From their skincare to makeup, it is just the most astounding brand. Their kind of ethos and the innovation that goes into their products really makes them the best in the market. So I'm very, very proud and very honoured to be part of the team. Um, so the fact that they allowed me to host this amazing dinner and have all of you here is just a really wonderful thing. So thank you for taking the time out. Okay, lunch was wonderful. Everyone is just leaving now and getting off um, to carry on with their days. But actually it's like half three now. Everyone's been here for hours. But it was, yeah, absolutely beautiful. And I'm just so thankful that everyone came. Where am I even up to with this vlog? Absolutely no idea. There's just been quite a lot going on recently and I just haven't kept up this week. There's so much I want to tell you about and there's so much I want to talk to you about but I feel I'm being a bit premature in talking about it yet and so I feel a little bit more, I feel a little bit more comfortable talking to you about everything next week. Like I said earlier on in the vlog, I have some really really exciting news that I want to fill you all in on seeing as I obviously keep up to date with everything going on in life. And this is a really, really big one, like a really fantastic move forward, like a really cool like life change kind of moment. And But I just want some more certainties on that before I go and talk about it, because like I say, I always feel like I jinx myself when I talk too early about these sorts of things happening. So I will save that until next week promise. But lots of other things have been going on that I haven't yet filled you in on so I feel like I need to kind of do a little bit like an update with you. And I haven't even cleared up in this room. I've been filming, I've been shooting all day. This eye makeup look, oh I don't even know if I can talk about this yet. I'll show you just in case I can. This is the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills Rose Metals palette. It is a gem, like for Christmas autumnal eye looks. This is sensational. The colours in here are just like superb. That beautiful cranberry and the copper colour. There's a few great mattes in here, but if you want shimmeriness, I am just in love. I've created this look actually for a reel. And I just did a really beautiful blend of that copper into the cranberry and smoked it out. And this is a hazelnut liner. So I've just done like a full Anastasia look. That's why I'm feeling very, very glamorous right now. <laughs> feeling really fabulous. I might go wash my hair in a minute though, that's for sure. Other things that I haven't told you, but yeah, and then I then I started filming and some stories for the Flannels Beauty Advent Calendar, which is out now. It was on pre-order, but I think it's fully out now to buy. Yeah, I mean it's 25 doors, 18 full-sized items like the likes of Charlotte Tilbury, Nude Sticks, Neon, Benefit, Larry King, Augustinus Barda, Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona. It's it's really good. It's a really good one, guys, and it's worth like £801. As far as I'm concerned, this is ridiculous. It's the best on the market, I must say. I am slightly biased, but that's what I really think. And then, this is really exciting. So a few of you did ask me, are you gonna be launching anything else with Edge of Ember soon after my Gaia collection launch? And yeah, a few of you kind of guessed that I was doing something else. And that is this, just a little launch of these two bauble products. Oh, it's too dark over here. Sorry, I hate, I hate always sitting here, but it's just because it's got my big lights here. So it's just far, far better. We launched these beautiful little baubles um, in time for Christmas. So they're the perfect kind of gift to give to someone. You can hang them on the tree ready for Christmas day, or you could hang them on somebody's door handle as a sort of stocking style present for when they open the door in the morning. They are beautifully packaged in these green and orange boxes. And they're so luxurious, then they open up this literally opens like a little origami flower. So amazing. And then inside is the Edge of Ember box. Like this. 
And then in there, we have a choice of two different studs. These here that I've unwrapped are the topaz stone studs. So they are beautiful topaz stones, four of them, set inside this 18 karat gold plated stud. Beautiful, teeny weeny little earrings. They're so perfect for the festive season, but also just like an everyday earring. And I got samples of these months ago. I've been wearing them ever since then. So you've, you've probably seen them in my ears since then. Here you can see, this is the other one. This is our 14 karat gold, solid gold 14 karat. It's almost like a little petal, a triple leaf petal. And then here, this is beautiful little topaz stone earring. It's so dainty and elegant and just one of those things that you can wear and wear and leave it in all the time. This is the one from Guy Collection, the Malachite earrings. We are waiting to get more of these in stock, but we do at the moment have the mother of pearl versions of these available. But yeah, I have them on both of both sides, the two little studs. But we just wanted to bring out something really special. I asked a while back on stories for some feedback on what you wanted from my Edge of Ember collections. And a lot of you said studs and a lot of you said solid gold. So that's why we did the topaz studs. These ones are gold plated, so the price is a little less elevated. And then the side of here, the side of this one, these are the little gold, 14 karat gold studs. Honestly, I just love these. This is quite a bold statement, but I think these might be one of my favorite things we have created for Edge of Amber. I think they're just so exquisite. The fact obviously they're solid gold, you can just wear them and wear them and wear them. They're gonna stay beautiful forever. Um, they're obviously a slightly elevated price point, but that's because they're not, that's because obviously of the quality and the material. And I just love the way they sit. I've had so many compliments on these. People have been like, where have you got those tiny little studs from? They just look beautiful. And in honesty, I kind of want to put these in again and just do a triple. So it's gold, topaz gold on each ear and just leave them in. I'll leave links down below for those where you can get those guys. I'm thrilled to bits to be still be working with Edge of Ember. This is the fourth drop that we've done now. I think it's one of my favorite ones. It's the smallest drop we've done, but it's one of my favorites. So close up these curtains, get super cozy. Honestly, this room, this bedroom, is so much warmer now than it ever was. It makes me so happy. Ever since we put in that second radiator, that was honestly a brilliant, brilliant idea. And to do that, because it really has made this room almost too, too toasty. Just with how cold it's getting at nights, we finally took the plunge, put the heating on. Obviously we've turned off like so many radiators in the house just so we kind of preserve a bit of energy and don't go over the top. But it is a lovely, cozy, cozy house now. Alex has just headed off to do a little bit of snowboarding. So he's gone snowboarding and I'm gonna get on the peloton very, very soon for a little quick workout. Again, I'm trying to keep up with my health and fitness at the moment and I'm trying to get on the peloton five times a week at least. So to be fair, that's all going pretty well at the moment. In fact, um, the peloton team got in touch actually and they are loaning us one of their peloton treads. I must admit, I don't do much on our treadmill but I'd be intrigued to try the Peloton tread due to the fact that obviously it has a screen and it has someone there to give you that like motivational speech and keep you going. So I'm actually really looking forward to trying that. That turns up this week. What else has been going on? I just feel like we need like a good catch up of things happening. I guess a little life update. I feel like I'm always here, there and everywhere doing something or other. Sometimes I feel like I just don't have the time to really chat with you guys and that's what I really, really miss, like the catch ups. So like I said, I have some big news that I wanna to talk to you about, but I'll wait till next week when I know what is actually happening before I jinx it and I tell you too soon and then something happens and it can't happen. Things are really exciting right now. There's, there's a lot going on behind the scenes that I don't really ever show you or ever tell you until like the time when I can, when I can do. So there's a lot that I'm, you know, working on and getting excited about. So those things are keeping me busy. I'm still trying to find time to be with friends and see friends because those are the best times in life, I think. I had two of my best friends come over this weekend and we just 
laughed and laughed and laughed about everything and we ate good food and we went out shopping and we were singing along to things and and Charlie was having a bath while we had a catch up and at one point I just started crying with like happiness because those times where you really switch off from work and everything else really are like the best moments in life. It's me. <laughs> I had to, I had to include all that footage because that was so funny. We were all dying. <laughs> we were just trying to be so cool and get a little bit of footage we're not singing cool. along. We're not cool. Babe, we're not cool at all. <laughs> Why do we pretend we're cool? So Charlie and Steph are here. We're going shopping. We're having a little um, girls weekend. They came over yesterday and we had a picky tea, didn't we? Which is our favorite thing. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Picky tea, like mm -hmm. breads and cheeses and delicious red wine. Red wine. And then today <clears throat> we got up, Charlie had a bath. Oh yeah. So that was fun. And got then, all crinkly. <laughs> got pastries. <laughs> then we got pastries, lots of different types of pastries. Delicious. Um, and then we've all got ourselves ready. I've done all the girls' makeup. That's why they're looking so, so fabulous so glowy. glowy. And then we've come shopping. Yay! So we're having a little girly shopping day. And I don't I don't feel like I I kind of embrace those really fantastic moments in life as much as I should and I think we all should like try and switch off more, see friends, do the things we really enjoy doing whether that's hobbies or spending more time with the dog or spending more time with our nephews and nieces or our kids or whatever. So we had such a fantastic weekend and it just makes me appreciate how amazing it is to have good friends. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to Christmas now. I'm so excited for Christmas. I'm gonna be starting my Vlogmas, Fromus episodes very, very soon. And hopefully gonna be doing two videos a week. So that's what you can expect. Um, two videos a week, so I'm just going up one, but there's just no way. How busy I know we're going to be, there's no way I can do more than one video a day. I can't, I can't do seven videos a week, um, I, but I will try for two. And of course I'll be on my TikTok and shorts and Instagram and everything else and the blog. We still post all the blog posts. So there'll be loads of content going out. But yeah, Fromus will be two videos a week. So lots coming up, lots coming up really. But I just can't wait to tell you our kind of big news and the, kind of the biggest thing that's happening right now. I have a trip coming up in December that I can't wait for. Work is just really fantastic at the moment. I mean, I've just hosted this clay depot lunch. For that, I hosted the flannels lunch in Liverpool. I've just had my Victor and Rolf advert go global. I mean, people are sending me pictures from Macy's. And then there was a retailer in Toronto, Vogue magazine. It's literally everywhere. Like literally everywhere is my face as the Victor and Rolf girl, which has absolutely blown me away. Like I knew it was going to be big, but I didn't realize it was going to be this big. So it's just so, so exciting. Um, and I feel so lucky. So yeah, thanks guys for being here and sticking around with me. Um, I'm sorry it's a bit of a shorter vlog this week, but like I say, just a few things going on behind the scenes that I'm busy with. But next week um, I can fill you in on so much more, but yeah lots of love to all of you i really hope you're all doing so well right now i know it's a very difficult time um i mean globally it's a difficult time for a lot of people but i just want to send lots and lots of love and energy and light to all of you and um just thanks for being here really i will see you in the next one